look, 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 tell this brother, yeah? Tell him that no man or woman can be friends if one or both of them love each other. Let's see the film, when Harry met Sally. Oh, you and your Harry met Sally, man. That's not true, I've got plenty of friends, you know, and they're female, and I'm just friends with them. So That's what? right, tell him. Uh, all due respect, boss man. Uh, do these women even know that you exist? <laughs> they don't know how you feel about them. Do you know what? You don't even count. Huh? You're 40 years old, still a virgin, and still looking for that right one. <laughs> Look, I just haven't found that one, and I'm going to wait and be patient, so what? All these women out here, and you're telling me you can't find the right one? Please. Look, Phil, give the guy a break. No, all of us can be like you, you know. Yeah, I know. I understand that. <laughs> no, I mean, some of us actually have morals and scruples and don't go around playing about with people's emotions. Well, well, well you said they ain't got no scruples. You know what I think about you and your lifestyle? You need Jesus. Amen. <laughs> what are you judging me for, bro? Huh? Only God can judge me, eh? Wait, wait, wait. It is the same man. That's married, and I have a next thing on the side. I don't have a next thing on the side. Look, I can't help it if Louise finds me attractive. <laughs> Most women do, you know. <laughs> Are you playing with fire, bro? And you're gonna get burnt, yeah? Trust me, you're gonna lead her on and pay her very much. How am I leading her on? Come on, Brian. You're a man, she's a woman. Anything could happen. I've got one piece of advice for you, mate. Resist that devil, and she will flee from you. <laughs> Look, I don't know why you two are so worried. It's under control. I've got it under control. Yeah, I'm sure that's what David said when he saw Bathsheba bathing. Look what happened to him and his family. He was from him mush off. And for every Samson, there's a Delilah. And you, bro, ain't no Samson. <laughs> hey, them man sure did love women, don't he? Oh, for real. Yeah. I guess it's the variety that each woman brings to the table. It's just so... <laughs> Tempting. Oh, is that why you cheat because of variety? <laughs> Men cheat for uh, three main reasons. Yeah. Number one, variety is the spice of life. <laughs> the fruit of grazing from different gardens is <laughs> so tempting. <laughs> Let me come in with number two then, Phil. Some men cheat because they are greedy, selfish, and lack self-control. Nasty. Yes, I. Okay. And three, men cheat because you women, you women allow them to cheat. What? Now you're saying that it's women's fault that men cheat. Case in point, your scenario. My scenario. Well, Louise knows you're a married man, right? Yeah. Yet she's willing to service you and feed you till you want no more. <laughs> Thus causing you to cheat. Now, if Louise wasn't willing to cheat, you wouldn't be cheating. But you know what? There's plenty of married women out there that know their man is cheating and choose to get on with it and turn a blind eye. In fact, I believe it's coming like a self-fulfilling prophecy. We're all willing to expect to cheat. Wow, Phil, that's deep, man. That's deep. I get that logic, you know. Look, can I just clean this up for the last time? I'm not cheating on my wife. And secondly, we don't have to fulfill some women's low expectations of us by cheating. Remember, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Bible also says, this spirit is willing. Oh boy. Get you thrown out. You were there. You heard him. You all heard him. You all heard him. 
work, like, because I'm between employment. I must wear a tube like I'm less than a man. I mean, look at the shark, man. Look at the shark, man. You can't do fire, man. You can't do fire. Phil. Look. For the weekend. This is what I'm going to say about you, bro. <laughs> Sorted out, please. Hilda. Sorry? Hilda. Sorry? Hilda! Your name Hilda? Who's not? Won't leave his mind, bro. Alright. Uh, right. Like, what about you, bro? No, no, I'm sorry, I, I've just got to take this call. <laughs> no, I don't have any space. <laughs> Bridge and then not take me in. <laughs> if I was hungry, oh, oh, oh. you gave me meat. <laughs> I was thirsty, and you gave me drinks. <laughs> I was a stranger, and you took me in. As much as you've done to at least one of these, you've done to me. You know what I mean? Take a look. It's right there in the Bible. In John 3:16. <laughs> is going down here we have this point of a, in times of crisis such as this but you know what it's okay because this too shall pass <laughs> and as for me i'll be fine i'll do sister mindsets for that end still i will rise <laughs>